Hi, I'm Jenny from Living Bread Baker, and um, today I want to show you something a little bit different. So, I remember that show, it was really popular. I mean, Liz was in when I was growing up, Rescue 911. Well, today we are going to do Starter Rescue 911. Um, recently, I did a video where I showed you the difference between an active starter and discard. So, to remind you, this is what a healthy active starter looks like large bubbles smells kind of like a like ripe fruit um, and it's you know risen to more than double its volume that was fed and then here is what it will look like several hours later if I don't use it don't um, take any portion and refresh it it's gonna look like discard so it kind of looks like ranch dressing you see it some tiny bubbles but you see it's really totally collapsed and more of in a liquid state now if I put this in the if I put this in the fridge and leave it there for a long time it will start to look like this guy Okay, so this brown layer on top is called, some people call it hooch, and is pretty yucky smelling. Um, usually it smells like um, acetone or nail polish remover. So it's a very strong smell. And what's kind of cool is that it's a layer of alcohol that these microorganisms release to make sure that they stay alive. Um, so it's a protective, it's a, it's a way that they protect themselves. So what do you do, or how do you coach a friend or someone that you know who's like, help my starter looks like this? Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to try to show you how I would bring this back and we're going to find out together whether I can bring it back or not. So the first thing I, I would do for this guy is I'm going to pour this off because this is, you know, not useful for your starter. It's not going to add any health or vitality anymore. Um, we're just going to toss it because it's, and it's not going to taste, taste good in our starter. So let's just get rid of it. So I'm going to pour it down the drain. Okay, so now all of it's exposed. I have a fresh jar here. And I'm going to take just a small amount, about a table, a teaspoon to a tablespoon amount. I really don't want a lot because I only want a small portion of this because I want, these guys are not doing so good. So I want to make sure they have a plenty of food um, in proportion to the small um, population I take and so that they have a chance to, to grow and thrive. And I'm gonna do this several times over the next few days to see if I can bring this guy back. So, and take a small portion. I mean, this isn't even liquid anymore. It's more like a paste. I don't know if you could, it's like, looks like a creme brulee, a disgusting creme brulee. All right, so I'm putting that in my jar and I'm gonna feed it I'm going to feed it more than I usually feed, tell people to feed for just one loaf of bread because this is, again, Starter Rescue 901. We really need to bring this guy back to health. So I'm going to feed it 70 grams of water, so clean, filtered water. All right, 72. I'm going to match that amount with my white flour. Now I have 72 grams of flour, 72 grams of water. I'm going to mix it really well together to get those little microorganisms moved throughout my mixture of flour and water so they can become hopefully have a chance to begin begin thriving and eating and colonizing and multiplying and again want to mix until there's just no more dry flour And I like to check around the bottom of the jar and the sides to make sure that I haven't missed it, missed any bits of it. But it's looking very thoroughly mixed. And um, I usually take a, my finger and wipe off the, not necessary, if you just wanna wipe the spoon off on the, on the top, you don't need to <laughs> use your finger if that grosses you up. So here is our refresh starter. I'm gonna leave this out at room temperature and um, I'm gonna give it ample time to rise and ferment because those guys are not in good health, so they probably won't activate the same, at the same rate as a healthy starter. At least that's what I've experienced in the past, but I will report back and let you know. Um, I'm actually gonna write down on a sticky note what time we refresh this at. Um, this is, the date is 317, um, 2021 at two, about two o'clock p.m. So we will see what this looks like tomorrow morning is what I'm planning on checking on it on uh, March 18th. And as far as for this guy, the rest of this, I'm just gonna wash this out and get, or just toss it. I don't know if I'll be able to wash all this off. Um, well, I'll try. Um, but this is trash. I've, I've taken a portion. If I, if I cannot bring this back, then why would I keep the rest of this? Um, so yeah, just you could toss the rest of the very old starter, but I will report back and we'll see 
how our rescue 911 rescue starter 911 op operation goes so i'll talk to you soon have a great one Welcome back to Rescue Starter 911 or Starter Rescue 911. So you remember this guy, we fed it, refreshed it um, yesterday around the same time at two o'clock on 317. And look, you can see that it's finally doubled. It took a full 24 hours to get to this height. Um, it has a very mild smell. So we wanna build up some intensity and strength in this. So we're, I'm gonna do, I'm pretty surprised actually that it doubled as fast. It's probably because it was such a, vigorous healthy starter to start out with which is um why it still has this amount of activity because to give you some history on this starter um i it has been sitting uncared for in my fridge for about a year and so that's a very long time really not recommended um to have a healthy starter the one i use from day to day is the one that i created in 2019 from um, a rye homemade starter but this one's really special to me. This one is from Vanessa Kimball um, at the Sourdough School in England. And it w w originated in France, you know, over a, a hundred years ago. So it was a very old established starter. And you can see that, you know, it's so healthy, it's going back to the size. So what I'm gonna do is I have a fresh jar. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of this guy and put it into my jar and do another refreshing. And then we're gonna see what activity we have um, in 24 hours. So I'll see you back then and let's go through the process right now. All right, I'm gonna put this on here, it's empty. There's lots of ways that we can refresh the starter and um, get rid of discard um, since we're not using this and I'm actually making a dough with it. So I can either toss out about 90% of this contents down the drain. Um, I can add 90% of the contents to if I have a starter collection jar in the fridge or um, another way I can do it rather than just emptying this, I can just take a tablespoon here put it in the fresh jar like that okay so that's enough to start to refresh to see that much this is all discard so I can either save again save this in the fridge as um, start to use later or I can just toss it down the drain and since I'm reestablishing it I'm thinking I'm just gonna toss it down the drain for now usually I keep all my start um, discard all right now tear I always recommend adding water first because if you add the flour first you you can't take out the water once it starts touching the flour. Okay, so let's do the same feeding. We're gonna go for 70. Almost there. Okay, 71. So let's shoot for the same amount on for the white flour, all-purpose all, all flour. So teared it now we're going to slowly shake in 71 grams Woo! and this is why i always say to add the water first because i can just take a clean spoon and take off that extra flour that we got on top Be careful not to pick up any of the wet stuff because that won't go well back into the bag. All right. Just a little bit more. Okay, phew. Crisis averted. Really, it's not a big deal. I could have just added a little more water in there, but I'm trying to do the same amount each time. So then I'm gonna give it a stir. get all the dry bits of flour off the sides. Look around the sides, make sure there's nothing dry. Looks pretty good. Okay. So here's our second refreshing. I'm going to write on here. All right, this is gonna sit out for 24 hours and we'll see how it's doing tomorrow. 
Welcome back. This is day three of our rescue sourdough starter 901 um, challenge. And you can see that here is our lid. We refreshed it for a second time yesterday at 2 p.m. And here it's a little bit after two. And um, it's now in the discard stage, which is really good. Has a much stronger sour smell than it did the, um, after 24 hours the first after the first refreshing. And what I tell my students to look for when they are reviving a neglected star, star that's not no longer healthy, like like this was, um, I tell them to do this process three to five times, and I want them to look for in order to know that it's back to health and to try using it. I tell them to look for um, the signs that you would see in, in a healthy um, starter. And those are when we're feeding, doing this ratio of a tablespoon of the established starter and you know 60 anywhere from 60 to 100 grams of water and 60 to 100 grams of flour equal ratio equal weight um, what i'm expecting is i'm expecting that amount to double in volume within 6 to 12 hours usually in that 6 to 10 in most weather and i'm looking for large bubbles i'm looking for it to um, have a, that distinct sourdough smell each sourdough um, starter will smell a little different um, but looking for you know fright ripe fruit or sour smell um, to show that it has that activity back that we want to have before we use it. So this has all those. This was actually doubled in volume um, after we did the 2 p.m. refreshing. By between 8 to 10, it was doubled in volume and really puffy and looking a lot healthier, more vibrant than it did after the first refreshing. But I want to do it one more time because that's what I advise people to do is just do it at least three times because then you know it's you know had a lot of uh, act has had a chance to establish a lot more activity level. So I already have my tablespoon in a new jar, and I'm going to add to this our 70 grams water, 70 grams flour. Give it a good mix, and I'm going to look for this to be doubled in volume and ready to use by this evening. So if by tonight it is active and looking having those signs I just described. I'm going to mix it into a loaf of bread and we will see how that looks after it's baked and I can share that with you so you can see what it looks like to bring it the full circle back to baking um, fresh sourdough bread. Here's the loaf baked with the revived sourdough starter and it looks beautiful. That starter is back to normal. Backing, baking a beautiful, perfect loaf. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, that quick tip. Um, I also have a, a sourdough quick start guide on my website that you can get for free. So feel free to check out the link below and I hope that that can help you. Help you. And um, just leave me a comment, send me a note, just tell me how this video helps you today.